have for my greatchallenge.blogspot.com. I don't even know which numbered video this is in my decor for the holidays for Christmas 2015, but I'm about ready to do the mantle. So the mantle is this thing right here that is basically covered in dust and dirt and I have to wash the whole thing and I have to wash the whole area here as well. And Willie and Edward and, well actually that's William. That's Where's your brother? Oh, he's putting the um, Christmas tree trees. box in the garage, that's yeah. right. So here's Scott helping me set up the Christmas tree which goes here in the corner and by the way I did put my little uh, decor on the goose well the swan actually so what I'll do later on once I'm done is that I'm probably gonna do a Christmas house tour so oh, you yeah. can see everything uh, in one setting because I know it's pretty difficult to get an idea of what I'm doing in the house and what it looks like because I'm just doing one area at a time right now for videos so um, this I'm gonna keep super simple this year usually I have a bunch of stuff I'm just gonna put a garland some lights and that's about it the rest of the decor I'm gonna spread throughout the house um, because I just don't want to put too much stuff on it I did do a lot of decor in the dining room and you probably saw that already as a video and yes William I have an idea yeah um, maybe on Christmas you can do an hour-long special thing you want to do an hour or maybe one like hour long special maybe like 30 minutes about what um like what we do on Christmas how about singing and dancing no. Nah. No. Oh yeah, we'd we'll love to see you. Numbers. Hey, you just put yourself on the spot. You are yeah. dancing and singing on Christmas Eve. No, no. <laughs> no, <you're not. laughs> yeah, you are. All right. Um, now, what I'll do is uh, just to let you know, uh, I am working on the twenty fourth this year because oh, yeah. I don't have time off oh. yet. Um, so what it means is that the Christmas Eve festivities are going to be cut down to what I can do in three or four hours. So it's pretty much going to be uh, getting um, the food prepped and the table and that's about it. I won't have time to do dessert this year. I'm sure mom is sending me a package with the uh, French stuff that I need, you know, like the foie gras and all of the stuff. Uh, but otherwise, yes. Yeah. So instead of my usual, which I do every year, Christmas Eve, you know, festivities video this year, you'll have a full Christmas decor house tour with the table and everything. All right, so let me start setting up this thing. I have a box here with everything that belongs, supposedly, because I'm organized, um, that belongs to the mantle. So I have those, which I never use. I have these, which I never use. And that's it, I guess. Um, I have more stuff here, but I know I'm missing some items like the big center i don't know where the center is and then there's some stuff in here wow i don't know what that is all right so i have to figure this out and install the whole mantle i'll see you again once i have all of the garlands installed so i said i wasn't gonna do too much fuss and i pretty much did the same thing i did last year <laughs> i didn't add the lights yet um but i did add these and i kind of like them because they go with the main colors which is silver and gold but these here don't go at all at all so i'm gonna pull out so you can see um i've had those for years it was part of a previous decor i just don't like them so what i'm gonna do is keep those little uh, snowflake wreath but i'm gonna um, remove those and i'm gonna try to find new ones uh, just for either side of the mantle and those will have to be silver and gold or gold and silver or just one color. Um, it looks pretty okay right now. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Wrap that around my neck. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> you know. You know. All right, you know. so what are you guys doing? Um, well, we're, we're doing those. Up the we're tree. Right in it there. What? We're doing those last two. Oh, you're doing those last two. All right, hurry up because mm -hmm. I still have a lot of work to do. And look at all the pine needles, even though it's a fake tree. Look at all the cleaning I'm going to have to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to put the Three stuff that I need to put things. here and on the other side. Do me a favor. Edward, that's big. Yeah. Can you take the laundry basket upstairs? Edward, that's big. Thank you. Edward, you've got um, That's that. And then this chair here has got to go because this other tree is going to go in there. And I got to clean all of this. It's just like it's getting really, really insane in here. I still have to add those lights. I'm going to do that now. Uh, that one I'm probably going to be able to um, show you what it looks like when it's lit up because I can plug it in the back over there. 
So it's not much, but it's starting to look a lot like Christmas. I have two ponsedas here at the bottom of my fireplace and then the same basket I had from last year. That's the one that has like the frosted beads on it with every little bit of leftover ornament that goes in there. And I already moved the chair. This is going to be the table where I put the Christmas tree for all of my Christopher Ratko ornaments. So that is going to be set up next. And then here is the mantle with the lights. It looks very, very nice. So now what I made sure I did this year, since I'm using these, I'm putting a light in front so you can actually see the sparkle and the light on it. Um, and then this one here, I gotta kind of like move a little bit, hold on. You know, it's the same thing with um, every other uh, setup. You want to arrange things in a way where you minimize the amount of wire and maximize where the lights are. Like you really want the lights to show the sparkle. So you want to orient them in a way where they give out the most light, where the sparkle and the glitter is. So that's basically that. And that's what it looks like for now. Um, yeah, the fireplace looks dirty. I don't have time to clean it, so oh, look at the mess here. So I have to move this chair, bring it to the basement. I have to uh, build that tree right here. Now Scott and the kids are done with this one, but it's not lit yet. Um, and then in the back over there, I got a few more items. I have uh, two little snowmen here um, on top of the curio. And then this is something that my son purchased a couple of years ago. And on the sides here, I have vases that come from um, when you buy flowers for the holidays or receive flowers. These are from FTD and I have another one on the other side. So I may or may not put anything in there. Right now, I just want to have them out. I may use them for the Christmas table, perhaps. And then here I have my little um, mice on the sled that goes with a candle and that's the cookie jar which of course is empty for now. So I put the poinsettias on top of the uh, large table instead of having them on the floor over there because I realized that once I start doing fire um, in the chimney um, they're gonna probably gonna get roasted so for now they're gonna stay here and you can tell I'm still cleaning I have this whole area here cleaned out uh, one of the chairs is out. I removed the cover for the uh, uh, chairs and they're getting washed. This one is going to stay here. I got to bring back the uh, cushion. Um, I switched the tables because I really like to keep this table here. When you're sitting down, you want something to put your tea on and everything. I'm trying to not use this one because this is an old, old table. So instead, I have the uh, old table that I used to have in the um, guest bedroom. If you remember it, that's the one with the white uh, thing that was in the basement actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is set up the tree, which is this little one right here, it's six foot. And that's just for the Christopher Ratko ornament. It's going to go all the way up to here. So I'm ready to set up the tree in the corner. I just want to show you what I'm doing here. Um, because these are very collectible ornaments. I don't want a tree to fall. And I also don't want it on the ground, um, on the floor, because it's too close to the dogs and the cat. So the tree goes on top of the table. And in order for the tree not to topple over, I pretty much have bungee cords that, you know, meet as a crisscross underneath. So that way this whole thing here doesn't move. And then I took the tablecloth that I had that was square and folded it. I'm taping it this way. And then this skirt right here goes over the whole thing. So it looks like this. I hope it makes sense. I'm going to set it up, show it to you once it's done. I'll probably put the lights in, but no ornament. Um, I still have all of this to do over there, those boxes to get rid of. And look at the dining room. It's a disaster in here. Christmas is tough to set up, Willie. I know. Uh -huh. I helped. Last year I helped you with this. Yeah, you did, but I'm going to have to redo the lights. Tree is up and I will decorate it sometime this week. So that's one tree. At least this one is connected. Um, it's pretty much ready to have all the ornaments put in. They are here. These are all the, uh, except for those that are Sara Lee, I feel, Sandra Lee. But these are all the Christopher Radko ornaments. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I collect the snowman ornaments by Christopher Radko. I get one every year, one every year. 
for 17 years now so one every year eventually this tree will be completely filled up so it looks pretty good uh, I put those fake presents at the bottom same thing that I did last year only to uh, fill in the gap between the uh, top of the table and the bottom of the tree um, always said that this tree should have another layer of branches but it doesn't so this is what it looks like I have to you know hide this somehow so you don't see it I got a candle in the um, little uh, whatever you call it uh, uh, what do you call those? I forgot. You tell me down below. I'm so tired. I can't remember. Luminary. We're going to call it a luminary. That's it. Um, so, yeah. I have or hurricane. No, it's not a hurricane. Whatever. Got a candle in there. I got to fix it because this is not closing properly. And I think it got bent somehow. That's probably... There we go. Yep. That's better. All right. And, yeah, what else? Oh, instead of putting the uh, uh, socks... I figured I'll do, I'll make do, I'll figure I'll make do with what I have. This is a very old ornament that used to be on Grandma's tree. Um, they're gold, the tassels, they have a little bit of sparkle. So I'm just dangling them there on either side. And it actually doesn't look too bad at all. It just kind of fills up the space a little bit. Uh, again, poinsettias are here. So now before I leave you, I got to finish all of this mess here. Clean up all of this and make dinner so next time you see me in a few seconds all of this will be clean and then for the other tree um this one right here i didn't connect it yet i have to fix the lights because the boys put lights pretty much everywhere and that's no good so i have to make sure the stickers don't show and then the lights are inside the tree same thing with this this will be lit up once i have the tree lit up and then that's the one i did in the other video um the little center and the 12 days of christmas over here so you'll see all of that when i do my christmas tour but for now i gotta seriously clean this living room and bring it back to some kind of i don't know functional space so guess what? It's 8.30 at night, I am done, and I'm completely exhausted. Literally, I did, uh, I don't even know, I think it's four or five videos today. I did the front of the house, I did the upstairs, I did the uh, um, mantle, I did the other tree, and I just finished cleaning up everything. I am completely wiped out. I'm telling you guys, I'm getting too old for this. Now, I totally understand why some folks just like, once your kids are out of the house, they don't even bother with decorating. Here's a wreath on the door and that's about it. I get it because this is getting over the top. Seriously. So, I didn't put any ornament on the trees. I'll do that sometimes during the week because I'm just too tired and I don't want to make mistakes because my ornaments are sacred. So, this is the living room. It's done. Okay, everything's been done. And remember, I also washed the curtains and I also windexed uh, the windows. So this is not hooked up yet. Um, only because I got to redo the lights the way they did it. And then I got to secure the tree to the banister so that way it doesn't tip over. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, about three or four years ago when we got the dogs, they chased each other and my tree with collectible ornaments just went like this and I lost about six or seven ornaments that I absolutely cannot replace so now the tree gets tied up to the banister um, that's a safety measure so uh, in this video what did I do all right so I cleaned up all of this I cleaned up all of this this has been dusted and clean um, as you know I put the uh, pincetas on the table I have the mantle that's done so now I could turn off the lights but what would happen is that basically you would lose uh, most of Oh no, it still works. All right, so there you go. Lights are off. So this is what it looks like. And I love this center. I have no idea where grandma got it, but she bought it for me ages ago. And I'm thinking something like maybe 10 years. It's beautiful. I take care of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's wood. It's, I love it. Anyway, so if you know where this is from, you let me know because there's no label underneath. And then um, you've seen the tree. I got all the lights on it. Elf on the Shelf is stuck in here for the night. We're doing that this year. I don't think I'm going to do it next year. I'm already running out of ideas that it's only half of the month. And I'm still waiting for those to dry, the covers for the chairs. And of course, the dining room is done. Oh, 
it was a lot of work oh and i swept and mopped everything so now i have my folding table it's staying there for the holidays because on christmas eve it's going to be uh reopened right here uh so we can put on um, the food you know the buffet and yeah that's about it so this here you've seen in another video and for now this is what the living room looks like so i'm pretty happy i am very very tired Thank goodness Scott is making burritos for us tonight because I am not filling dinner at all. I'm just going to sit down and relax. So Scott, how do you like the decor this year? Scott? Mm, right. How do you like the decor? It's good. It's just too bad it's July. I mean... <sighs> okay. It's not... Well, I don't know why you're putting this up in July. Okay, well... I'm just... It looks beautiful, but, you know. Yeah, it, it was 67 degrees outside today. It's December 15th. Is it? No. No, it's the 13th. 13th. December 13th. It July. Was, <laughs> it was December 13th. It was 67 degrees in northern New Jersey. This is insane. It was totally unreal. Um, it was hot. We had all the windows and the doors open today while we were doing this. So, I like the thing you did at the top of the stairs. Yeah, that looks really good. That's in another video. Um, yeah, that looks really cool. And uh, Deborah's ornaments are beautiful. So, yeah, yeah. Um, she needs to be in business for, for herself. Yeah, well, she has a blog, but... Deborah, you need to be on Etsy and sell your stuff. Anyway, so, so I guess that's it. We're so tired. We don't even know what we're talking about. You're going to make burritos? Who are you? <sighs> we're really tired. We'll see you guys later. Bye.